Welcome to this video review or a short video overview about the new Swarovski EL range binoculars. These are range finding binoculars. They were introduced approximately one month ago at EVA 2015. And these are the second generation of EL range binoculars. Uh, the first generation was introduced in 2011. The first models became available in the end of 2011. <clears throat> and this is relatively fast that only after four years we already get the updated version or upgraded version. The, cha the changes are however small between the first and the second generation and they go mostly in the way of um, better experience with the scope. The changes are subtle and small, incremental, but still I think that uh, in use they make a big change. So the first thing what you notice is that the, um, <clears throat> the cover for the objective, not, not the objective, the eyepieces, is a little bit different. It's made out of soft rubber, it's not from plastic anymore, and the design is different. Then what is also different is the carrying strap. This carrying strap has a round cords for carrying it and a really easy system to adjust the length. You just have to like this. This is a small change compared to the first generation, but I still think it's a really important one since um, none of other binoculars producers is uh, investing, investing so much effort into these small details. But at the end, when you have the binoculars around your neck, such small differences make a big change. What is also different is the, the way you attach the carrying cord to the binoculars. It's really easy. You just push in this button and turn it. And it's a really easy system for attaching the cord. Small change, very nice, and it will make a big difference when you'll be using these binoculars. The second change are, well, the second difference is the, are the objective lens covers, which are connected to the binoculars. This is a first scene on these binoculars by Swarovski. I think this is also a really incremental change, but it will, it will make a difference. And I also think that this is a much better system than it was used before. The button for the measurement has a different design, much better feel. You feel the click. It's also a little bit audible. So it's a nice, nice change they made. Also on the bottom side, you can see these two small ergonomic changes to the housing. It doesn't make a big difference, but still again, something what you will notice while you're gonna use these binoculars. <clears throat> the eyepieces stayed the same, really good. These eyepieces offer a couple of different positions, a lot of support at, e at each of the positions and have really nice rubber surface where you touch them. The diopter settings, the diopter setting is still done with these two, um, these two rings for each of the optical tubes. You have to push the ring up and then you can set the correct diopter setting. This is really important so that you always have a clear picture and a clear display of the of the distance which you are ranging. Uh, why is this also important? Because the these binoculars have an automatic adjustment of brightness of this uh, internal display. That means that uh, 
the reading for the meters is always illuminated with the right intensity. If you're using this binoculars in low light or during the bright daylight, it changes automatically. Optically, these binoculars are still among the best range-finding binoculars with the highest light transmission rate, rate among all range-finding binoculars. This is approximately 92%. They offer a really wide field of view, 110 meters, and they feature all the latest Swarovski technologies, like uh, Swarov Bright coatings, Swarov Dur, Swarov Top coatings, and so on, so that also the outer lenses, uh, the surfaces of lenses are protected against uh, dirt, scratches, they repel water and oil, so they are made to last. The warranty is 10 years uh, on the optical part, 2 years on the electronic parts. And together with these binoculars you also receive a cleaning cloth, a user manual, which is really nice, well made. And also at the end of the user manual all the warranty information is given. You also receive a nice quick guide which gives you all the information how to use these binoculars in a glance. So uh, they still don't feature any advanced ballistical, ballistic uh, software, but they do feature uh, equivalent horizontal range, which is the most important for most of the hunters. So if you are aiming at a steep angle, up or down, these binoculars will give you the information about the equivalent horizontal distance, which is the most important for the calculating the prop, uh, appropriate bullet drop and how to compensate the bullet drop. Uh, the software of the measurement system, maybe even some ha hardware, people at Swarovski didn't tell me if uh, both of these two systems were changed, but the software definitely was. Uh, which gives faster measurement times. It's really not noticeable. When you compare the first generation and the second generation, this second generation measures the distance uh, much faster than the first generation. What is also new is the new uh, field bag. I personally think that it's great, but I do like the EL field bag a little bit more than this one from a standard non-range finding binoculars. The focusing, the focusing knob is uh, precise, it's well made, it offers really good feeling. So like expected from uh, the most expensive binoculars made by Swarovski. And the eyepieces I already explained are still among the best on the market. If I make a short summary, these range-finding binoculars are an upgraded version, the second generation of the EL range series made by Swarovski Optic in Austria. They come with 10 years warranty. Uh, they're really well made. All the latest technologies of Swarovski are used. Uh, and these binoculars feature a lot of subtle changes compared to the first generation, like the new carrying strap, new button for the measurements, new covers for the lenses, new field bag. The optics is still among the best in the range finding binoculars class and the measurements are even faster than they were before. So these binoculars are definitely for someone who is uh, looking for the top optical quality, a really high quality product. They're really easy to recommend since they're really good and they're especially suitable for someone who is doing a lot of, a lot of uh, long range shooting while hunting. The range of these binoculars is 1300 meters and uh, they also offer equivalent horizontal range for ballistic calculations. Thank you for watching. If you need any additional information, please click the link below, visit our webpage or send us an email or use comments on this YouTube channel.